Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Happy Upper Body Day. Happy another nasty day here in the ATX. But hey, it's still winter time, right? So I guess it's time to be expected having dreary Seattle-like weather, I guess, um, here. But that's okay because it's nice and warm-ish, warmer and dry. Unless you get a lot of people in here that like to sweat and get moving because it was a little damp in here yesterday after the 5.30 class. But everybody killed it. Yesterday was a good day. And I appreciate everybody coming out uh, and, and working out with us. Morning classes, y'all have been like on fire. So y'all keep it up. Keep all that attendance going. It's, it's awesome seeing 12, 14, 16 plus people in the morning classes. Y'all are rock stars, man. Getting up that early and getting your workout in. Mm. Way better than homie here. I promise you that. So keep it up. Um, awesome start also too for our fat loss challenge yesterday. Still lacking a few um, of the DEXA scans to be turned in to us here. So if you haven't turned your DEXA scan in yet, please do. I'll be shooting you an email shortly or a text to, just to remind you that it needs to be done and send it to me ASAP so I can have it in the system and you don't have to worry about it anymore, okay? And just keep moving like you're moving, doing your thing, and plan out your next eight weeks and how you're going to attack your fat loss challenge, okay? So I'm gonna turn this thing around. We'll kind of get a couple things. We'll talk about the workout. Ultimate hit Friday, 5.30 p.m. Strength training starts on Monday the 27th. So it's gonna be Monday and Thursday, 7.30 p.m. That's the only 7.30 p.m. classes that we're gonna have starting on the 27th, okay? There's gonna be an informational session on the 23rd at 7.30, okay? So if you're interested in doing the strength training, because it, it, every class builds on the class previous, right? So it's, it's one of those uh, workout type of structures that if you're wanting to commit to it, it's best to try and commit to it both of those days a week, okay? We can, we can do one day a week, but you're probably gonna get behind a little bit. We'll talk a little more about that on the informational session. Even if you come to the informational session and you don't think it's for you, that's cool, but at least come get some more information about it and then we kind of make an I, you know, a, a best you know, thing for you if that's what you want to do. Deadlifts, advanced weightlifting starts on the 7th. Now remember on the advanced weightlifting, advanced is just a, no, a name in there. It's just, it's just an adjective. It doesn't have anything really to do with the movements that we're working with. It just means that we're gonna be dedicating that one hour a week just to that particular movement, okay? So we're not gonna throw in a bunch of other things for the workout. We're gonna dedicate getting better at that particular movement. That's the only advanced part of it in there, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're a, a newbie, somebody just coming in, not really familiar with the bar or comfortable with the bar, it doesn't matter. This the class is for you. This is for everybody to get better, no matter where you're at with a particular lift, you can always get better. There's always things you can learn, always new tips and tricks, always more mobility. There's always things you can learn, even if you've done deadlifts and you're comfortable with it and have been, and you've been in my AWL class for the past two years, and we do deadlifts, we do stuff, and you're, you're a rock star here in the gym, there's always things you can learn. I learn stuff every single day that I attempt lifts, that I do stuff like that, so it's, it's amazing. So that's gonna start on the 7th. It is on the Member Connect calendar. So if you wanted to sign up, that's the place to do it, okay? So let's talk about the workout a little bit today. So Coach Travis has got us three 10-minute stations today. They're each 10-minute AMRAPs. Station number one is gonna be a little bit, a little different AMRAP-wise because we're gonna start off with barbell bench press. Now with this, gonna to work to a, kind of a heavy bench press. So you're gonna get a few in, maybe starting off with, with eight or 10 of the bar, and every time you go through, as far as your AMRAP, your rounds, you're gonna add weight to it, right? So you wanna get something where you're gonna to get to a pretty heavy one. So maybe starting off with 10 reps. Um, your next round, doing eight. Next round, maybe doing, getting heavier, maybe doing four, and then doing two. So things like that. And we'll explain a little more to you as we, as we get through. Your coach will kind of help you out with that. Um, you got flutter kicks in and out, some core work and stuff with it. Station two, TRX bicep curls, push up to a tuck jump, and some kettlebell pistol swings. We haven't done the pistols in a while. 
So pistol swings are, are really cool. Really start working that core and it'll definitely get your hips in the mix with that. You got to have that hip thrust in there to get those kettlebells moving correctly, all right? And of course, we'll talk more about that as we go. Station number three over here, clock bear crawls. I'll let y'all think about that one for a little while. Dumbbell three-way three, three way raise. Ooh, that's a tough one to say real fast. And dumbbell zotman curls, okay? So that's what we have going on for the workout today. Got everything all lined up for you. We just have the bars bare right now because you want to start with a few. Kind of get used to the bar for your bench press. I know it's extremely light. I get it. Um, but it's, it's something that you really need to go through and get a few reps in to make sure you got everything down like you're supposed to. Okay? So that's the workout for today. I'm trying to think of anything else that I, I'm thinking about, um, I have going on. Um, one thing that I do, I really want to see some more response-wise, is from the uh, little survey that I put in the newsletter a couple weeks ago. Um, I think we've had 12 people take the survey, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I, I, it's, it's great. I, I love the responses, and you know we're, we're definitely going to put pen to paper and, and see what we can do to make some changes if need be. Um, but seeing that I sent it out to... I don't know, 200 people and getting 12 responses, that's a little light. I definitely want to see some more. So if, if y'all can go back into it, if you feel so inclined, and I would greatly appreciate it because if I, if I didn't care about y'all's opinions and about what's going on and, and how we can make changes if we need to, I would never put a survey out, right? I, I want to get y'all's feedback. And to me, that was the best way to get the feedback from a lot of people at one time to see if they're are things that are similar. See if there's things that are different. See if we're having, you know, that it helps us gauge things around here. So please, I, I really, I, I'm asking a huge favor. If you haven't submitted one of those, if you haven't gone back to the server, please go back into the email, find our monthly newsletter um, from January. I think I sent it out like on the third or something maybe, and and do the survey. Seriously, it takes. Eight, 10 minutes, depending on how much time you want to spend actually filling out certain spots. Some things, it could take you three minutes if you just want to do the little check marks. It, it just, it's a super simple survey. I think it's like eight questions. Nothing really, deal. It, it may, you know, if, if you really want to get into it, it could take a little longer. And I hope that's what you want to do. I want to, I want to hear some feedback from you. Even if I've heard it before, if we talked about it, it's good to see it in writing as well. So please, if y'all can do me that huge favor, I would greatly appreciate it. I like to get at least 10%, 20, 25 um, surveys would be awesome, help us gauge things a little bit better. 12 does, but having double that would kind of say if there are patterns and stuff that we need to address, okay? Um, what else? If you have, if you're doing the fat loss challenge and you haven't gotten onto our Facebook page, then please do. Uh, send a request for it, we'll approve you so you can get on there and start looking at some awesome things that Coach that, that Corinne, our in-house nutritionist, is going to post. Uh, all our coaches are going to post things. Coach Sarah's already posted some stuff um, on there as well about the DEXA scans and about things too because I know some of y'all are kind of um, – it's a big eye-opener, right, on the DEXA scans. Trust me, it, it was for me when I first did it. It's, it's pretty crazy um, where you can, you can pack fat and really have no clue that that's where it's hiding. It's, it's kind of crazy looking at it. But it's an eye-opener. It's a good thing. Uh, to see. So that, I think, what else? I think that's it. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just bore y'all with all this stuff, but I uh, definitely want to hear some feedback from y'all. I appreciate everything that you do. I really do. Thank y'all for making, you know, this transition and everything over um, the past few months and an easy transition for, for me and for us. I appreciate it. So anywho, y'all make it a great day because only you can. And I will see you this afternoon or this evening. As always, y'all, love you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.